Hi everybody, my name's Rosie and welcome, welcome, welcome to my channel. Today we are doing a nice big boots and super drug haul, which I'm super, super excited for because I actually went in to boots and super drug, which I haven't done in such a long time and it was really nice, like it was really nice just wandering around, having a look at the office because I'm forever making a boots and super drug basket online or on the apps but it was actually really nice to go in and actually look at the stuff and yeah all that good stuff so I'm glad that I held off and hadn't made a purchase online in ages and instead I went in and uh, did my shopping that way so if you're new here I do have two little pugs who you will hear snoring throughout the video I just wanted to give you a heads up of what that noise is but let's get into the haul so I went to Superdrug first and bought most of the stuff from Superdrug and then I had a little wander around Boots. I was so quiet and dead um, and I only picked up a couple of items from Boots. So we'll start there and I'm pretty sure everything I got was on offer so that's always good. So the first things I got and I did get quite a lot of hair stuff throughout this video because if you know me I love hair masks and I like looking after my hair so I always love to try out new things. So these are the Herbal Essence essences of life repair concentrate and i think quite a lot of companies are doing these at the minute and they're like concentrated shops for your hair that's what they look like so this one here is argan oil they had these in a big hair mask as well that i was tempted by but didn't do it because i've already bought so many hair masks and then i got a coconut milk one as well this is what that looks like there's nothing in that bag for you lolly I love the packaging of this, so it says um, apply to wet hair from mid length to ends, leave for three minutes, rinse, so it's just like a hair mask shot, I will probably use this how I use all my hair masks which is on dry hair, oh that smells absolutely lovely, so keep an eye out for those in my empties and I will get back to you for what they're, what they're like, um, but these were originally £4.49 but what an offer for £2.24, so half price, I don't know if that's, well if this works exactly like a hair mask then that is quite expensive only because you're only going to get one hair wash out of that and in a pot of hair masks i actually only normally get about two hair washes out of it so some people actually might get more than two and if that's the case then uh yeah that's brilliant but you get 25 mil in here anyway we'll see over time what they are like lola is literally just sat on everything can't be there so beautiful Next up, I actually went for the collection Long Lasting Matte Foundation up to 16 hour wear and the Long Lasting Perfection Concealer. Um, my friend Kelly talks about this all the time and says how good it is, so I wanted to give it a try. Here's what it looks like. When I was in the shop, this colour looked really good for me and I got it in Buttermilk 10 and now I'm home. Someone's tried it! Uh, uh. <laughs> That's so annoying. That is so annoying. Well, nothing I can do about that now, but look, some dirty swine has had their hands all over my foundation, naughtily testing it out. That is what that looks like. It's definitely too dark for me, but nothing a bit of lightening up won't do. This says it's a six in one, primes, conceals, covers, smooths, protects and mattifies water resistant transfer proof full coverage no clogging pores and yeah my friend kelly has said some really good things about it in the shop though under those lights this didn't look that dark at all look how dark that is oh my god so i'm gonna have to definitely mix that with one of my lightest foundations <laughs> But I'm excited to try it out. And then the concealer, I went for Cashew 6. This doesn't look like it's ever been used before. And that's nice and light. So, yeah, hopefully it be nice for under the eye as well. It says smudge proof, budge proof and transfer proof. Conceals dirt circles and blemishes for a flawless 16 hour wear. And it's water resistant apparently with a little crying face on it. I'm so annoyed that someone's had their dirty mitts all over my new foundation. 
and Lola's just been a good girl and sat on top, of, like sat down on my leg, and now I need wet wipes. Should have thought about this sooner, shouldn't I, girls? Stay there, good girl. You need to go stay there, you little pig pig. Okay, so those were also on offer. So I think it was when you bought two, you saved like twenty five percent or something like that. So. um the foundation is usually six forty nine. I paid four eighty six, and the concealer is normally four pound nineteen, and I paid three pounds fourteen. So really cheap, isn't it, for a foundation under five pounds? Not bad at all. Next up, I was so intrigued by this product. We all have a bit of shampoo, don't we? And it is actually hair wash day for me. But this is Pantene Pro-V Cheat Day Dry Shampoo Foam. 60 second cleansing wash, no residue. We'll see about that. Who has tried this, if anyone? Look, so this is what it looks like. Shall I try some? It is hair wash day. Whip your hair back to life in just 60 seconds without washing. This foaming dry shampoo with Pro-V Complex and Orchard Flower works without water to cleanse and refresh hair from the root. Shake well, dispense onto the palm and apply to the root and rub in. Let dry and then brush out. Right, okay. Let's have a look. Look at the nozzle. looks uh, quite an unusual shape isn't it? Hmm, very interesting. Okay, how do I how do I squeeze that down actually? Shake well, dispense it to the hat. Well how does that work? Oh! <laughs> For fuck's sakes. Okay, oh my god I've just got that everywhere. Oh, that smells beautiful. Okay, so into hands and uh, onto roots of your hair. Okay, and then brush through. Right, my mild skanky hairbrush is the first one I picked up. I mean, do I have to let it dry? What's it say? Dispense from the palms and apply to the root and rub in. Let dry and then brush out. Okay, let's leave that for a minute then because it still looks like all greasy AF. Um, it looks worse because it's wet. So uh, let's carry on and we'll, we'll come back to that, shall we? It smells beautiful. Um, right, well, it's been on like quite a few minutes now and it's still not dry. So how long do we wait for it to dry? Bloody Nora. All right. Anyway, we'll just carry on with wet looking hair. Right, so that stuff was originally a tenner, uh, but I got it on offer for £6.65. So it's still expensive if it ain't working. <laughs> oh my God. Feel, it doesn't feel very nice. Okay, we need to give it a fair chance though it's still not properly dried okay and last but not least from boots i got this super facialist vitamin c and brightening skin renewal cleansing oil this was originally 12 pounds four pound one p off so i got it for 7.99 so i think that's really well priced now i saw this thing on a few youtube videos of people can't remember what it's called actually but like dry cleaning their face with oils 
and apparently it's really good at like removing a load of the dirt um and like apparently you literally rub the oil on your dry skin for quite a bit of time and it removes like all the crap that looks like blackheads and think is blackheads but it's actually not apparently i don't know that's what someone said anyway i can't remember what it's called but i definitely want to try it out so i thought i would try this oil now the only thing Oh, that smells lovely. Oh, I also wanted some vitamin C in my life as well. Now, the only thing that I've read on the reviews about this, the only negative thing is apparently the bottle where it's like not a very good pour um, cap. Apparently the bottle gets absolutely covered in oil and really horrible. So I think I might actually dispense this straight away into like a squeezy bottle, which I've probably got in my empties somewhere. Um, so I think I might do that. So yeah, that's a... Uh, I got that and I'm really excited to try it. Okay, so it's still been quite a while and this still isn't properly dry. Maybe I used too much. And to me it just looks greasy. <laughs> like way damp, it doesn't feel very nice. So far, easier to definitely just stick with a dry shampoo. Like a spray one, not a mousse one. Uh, but we'll continue. Let's, let's move on to Super Drug and, and see how we're getting on. Okay, I went, I got quite a bit more in Superdrug. So in Superdrug in total, I spent £82.60, but again, had quite a lot of savings. So I'll talk you through those. So first off, I got the L'Oreal Dream Lengths Mask. And in fact, I got quite a bit from this range. I've heard really good things about this range. So these were half price, I believe, and the mask was down to £2.97, which I'm more than happy to pay for a hair mask. This has got 300 mil in it. it smells very nice. Looking forward to giving this range a go. As I said, I've heard really good things. Then to go with that, I got the shampoo and conditioner. These were down to £2.47, I believe. Yep, yeah, £2.47 for these. And these are the detangling conditioner and shampoo um, for long damaged hair, which I have. I then picked up the L'Oreal dream lengths eight second wonder water so i've heard some pretty good things about this stuff this is what it looks like so quite a few people have said that they've this has made quite a difference to their hair and has made it feel really shiny and smooth and lovely so this is the 10 times smoother shinier hair silicone free no way down and apparently what you do when your hair is wet you apply it sort of like this directly onto the ends massage it in for eight seconds rinse and rinse it out and apparently it's literally as simple as that on the back as well which is quite interesting it's got the doses that you should use so this is one dose two dose three dose so it's all measured out for you like on a measuring jug which is really really handy so, I've never tried anything like this before, so I'm really, really excited to do so. Do let me know if you've tried this before um, down in the comments. Okay, keeping with the hair theme, next up, I've been intrigued to use this stuff for ages. This is the Hair Boss by Lisa Shepard. This is a double hair mask. Now, this has been raved about. People are comparing it to the Olaplex. And this is the double hair mask, an emergency two-phase hair mask to fix bleach-coloured dry and damaged hair includes phase one bond restoring and phase two moisture hit so you've got two hair masks in here and i've heard such good things about these so i'm so intrigued i've even been reading the reviews on it for a couple of months now been wanting to see what other people think of it this is normally 20 pounds but they've currently got it on offer in superdrug for 13 pounds so i thought that was really good so it says Phase one, which is the first part of hair mask, it is the bond restorer, and that acts as a protein mask for your hair. It contains hydrolyzed keratin to help restore and smooth the hair cuticle, reduce signs of damage and prevents breakage. And then you put on phase two, which is a moisturizing heat mask that acts as a barrier to seal in the, uh, the protein from the bond restorer. Um, containing hyaluronic acid and natural oils to, uh, the mask helps to improve the hair's moisture level and add softness and shine okay so it says that you shampoo your hair as usual take a generous amount of phase one one a massage from root to tip ensuring the hair is evenly covered immediately followed by applying a generous amount of phase two 
moisture hit on top of phase one, ensuring the hair is fully covered. Apply phase two directly on top of phase one, helps to seal the keratin whilst adding moisture. After applying the second phase, leave for three to five minutes and rinse well with warm water for very damaged hair or a more intense treatment, leave for 15 to 20 minutes. I'm so excited to try this out. Like I said, I've been wanting to do so for ages and I thought that was a good deal. Let's uh, open it up and have a look at it. Cool, so in here, as I said, you've got two hair masks. This one's phase one. Oh, it smells really, really nice. You get 150 ml in both. So I'm really intrigued to see if this is worth the money, basically. So uh, yeah, again, I'll keep you posted. It will go into my empties. Um, yeah, that's that. And then I picked up a couple more of these hair shots. These ones are brand new. These are Pantene Color Damage Reverse. And these are their shots and they were two for seven pounds again not used these before don't know if that's any good or not but i was intrigued like i said on this shopping trip i'd never seen them before and then i saw these ones first oh, smells nice in super drug and then i saw the other ones in boots afterwards and i was just so intrigued by them and i just thought i'd give them a go so again i will keep you guys posted i hope they're worth the money hopefully they're magic for your hair what i think i'm hoping is is you know like after you've dyed your hair and you have that conditioner i'm hoping it's a bit like that We'll see. Okay, that's all the hair stuff done and out the way with. Um, so next up, I picked up a couple of these hand sanitizers. I've spoken about these before. I really, really like them, but I've not tried these scents before. So these are the So Sorry Not Sorry, and this one's in Clean Freak. And what I like about them is that they're a spray. Not a gel. Oh, that smells like watermelon. Oh, I've got a cut on my hand. I keep forgetting about it. That smells so nice. Oh, I don't know about you now, but normal hand sanitizer, like the smell of it these days makes me feel quite sick. So <laughs> these ones are much nicer. Uh, yeah, they don't smell horrible. They smell really, really nice. So I got that one and then I got the uh henatizer one then i went for some new fake tan so i got the tanology express tan self tanning mousse in medium love this packaging and then i went for their self tan drops in medium these are the face and body drops i've heard so much about these and i've been really really intrigued now i have tried tanologist ages ago such a long time ago but it was like their spray tan and i think it was in light and i'm just much more of a mousse kind of gal so i'm intrigued now i actually don't mind a color guide I quite like the color of the color guide sometimes i don't like to wash the color guide off because i prefer that color over the normal tan you know but everyone keeps saying how good this is in terms of their sheets and they're just raving about it so I wanted to try it for myself and it was on offer. It was buy one, get one half price. So I thought I'd give it a go. So they were $14.99 each. So I got one for half of that price, so £7.50, which I didn't think was bad. And the last couple of bits are makeup-y bits. So the first thing I got is the MUA Pro Base Long Wear Matte Finish Foundation. This stuff is so cheap. I've been looking at it for ages, but they've never had my shade in. And I went for 130, which I think looks like a good colour match. I've heard so many great things about this foundation. Like, so many people rave about how good this foundation is all the time. So I really wanted to give it a go. This was... That was five pound for that foundation. So if it works, well, that's life changing, isn't it? And then I got their concealer, which is the Pro Base Full Coverage Concealer. This was three pounds and I went for this in shade 110 or 110. So yeah, I'm excited to give those a go. I've never tried them before. So really excited to try those. And the last three items I got are from L'Oreal and they had a three for two. So you got the cheapest one free. First off, I stocked up on my Lash Paradise Mascara. This is one of my favorite mascaras. I absolutely love it. It's 11 99 I got it in intense black. I really really enjoy this mascara haven't had it in ages so i thought i would pick up another one 
so yeah it is if you haven't tried it it's it's a really good mascara i'd really highly recommend it then i got the true match concealer and i got this in i was really struggling with their colors like obviously there's no testers can't try anything but i got it in one n ivory um this i'm hoping is good for under the eyes because that's what it sort of led me to believe when i was reading up on the sh on their sort of like packaging um quite light but you know colors you make them work eventually it's fine so we'll see what that's like but yeah i'm excited to try that one out and then last but not least i went for the l'oreal skin paradise tinted water cream i got this in light too again was so difficult to know what shades get now the reason i picked this up is somebody recently said that this stuff is actually amazing oh my god it just broke my razor how is that packaging so tough that it just broke my razor so yeah, as I was saying, the reason I actually picked this up is because somebody was saying it is really, really good for oily and blemish prone skin and it's actually got quite a full coverage to it. Oh my God, that is so orange. How is that light? Thank God, I nearly went for the medium. Look how orange that is. I actually can't believe how dark that is for a medium. Uh, for a light, sorry. No. That is so dark. Oh man, I've been wanting to get this for ages. How annoying is that? I mean, after I fake tanned, maybe. I honestly can't believe how dark that is. It says quench your skin with moisture and tones up complexion for a perfecting healthy glow naturally radiant finish 24 hour hydration well oh, it's just a shame about the color honestly someone was saying some amazing things about this about that it's like, like quite full coverage which i can see that because i can't get over how orange that is in my hands i really really can't what shame okay well if you guys have tried this foundation or anything else that I've got in this haul, please do comment down below and let me know. I'd be really intrigued to hear from you guys. I'm really looking forward to trying some of these bits out. And like I said, I was actually, I really enjoyed just walking around the shop and looking at all the nice things that they had out. I haven't done it properly in ages. It was really, really nice. I don't think I said, did I? Sorry, that tinted dark orange stuff. That was 10.99 that was and the concealer was 7.99 so i got the concealer for free right in regards to my hair well this has been on for like maybe half an hour now it's still not 100 percent dry but almost but it feels horrible my hair feels really not nice and in my opinion it looks like it's more greasy than when i started I don't like that at all. I really don't rate that product at all. I'm not sure I'll even want to try it again. I don't think I did anything wrong there. But I don't think I'll even want to try it. Like, to see if I have done something wrong. I think that one will be being passed along to somebody who might, might be maybe more suitable for their hair. But it's dry now. But it just feels weighed down. It feels like it's got a load of product in it. It it doesn't look better to me. It looks worse. It looks more greasy than when I started. It smells lovely. I don't like it. No. Do let me know if you've tried it and what your thoughts are. Everybody, that is absolutely everything. What are your thoughts? Like I said, I had so much fun walking around there, uh, looking at all the goodies, looking at all the offers on, like just having a look around. It was really, really nice. I really, really enjoyed it. And I'm really happy with everything that I picked up. And I've actually picked up some, everything's new actually, isn't it? Yeah, everything that I've bought is brand new. Like, I've never tried any of the things that I got. So, that makes it even more exciting because I, you can get into quite a bad habit, can't you, of buying the same shower gels. I definitely can. The same bubble baths, the same shampoos and conditioners, all that sort of thing. Whereas, everything that I've got here, I've never, ever tried. And I'm really looking forward to trying. So, um, 
yeah let me know your thoughts let me know if i've got any of your favorites let me know if there's anything here that you absolutely don't like let me know what you think of that hair mousse and if you've tried it i'd be so intrigued to know but thank you so much for watching everybody i really really appreciate it and i look forward to seeing you in the next one bye Mwah!